Well, hello there. I am back on Twitch. This is the first official stream. I did do one prior to this that was just kind of a test thing um, a couple days ago on Saturday. But uh, it worked well, and I've decided to go ahead and come back to Twitch as my live streaming platform. Better for me, better for you guys, and just overall, I think this is going to be a really good move. So uh, I was playing around with the lighting again as well, and I... Uh, I think this is going to be the new lighting setup. I like this. This looks good. It's got a little bit of graininess to it up here in the kind of shadowy area, but overall I think otherwise it's pretty good. The unfortunate thing that happened though was that while I started the stream up, I actually hit uh, the update for my stream deck and now when I go like the main screen scene button, nothing happens. So. I have to manually change scenes again, which is a little annoying, but hopefully I can get that fixed after the stream tonight, and then we'll be in business. So we are going to be continuing on with Hogwarts Legacy. I want to go ahead and work on some of the side quests, do a little bit of goofing around, just get everything I can squared away, try to work on some collectibles, uh, things like that. So it's going to be a nice, easy, relaxed stream since we have completed the story now. Um, I'm not entirely sure what else may come up as far as story type elements, uh, but I'm sure there's a little bit of things that'll be tossed in there. But if you want to catch up on the previous streams that I was doing over on YouTube, you can check my YouTube channel under the live tab and you'll see the past VODs there. Uh, everything that I do going forward is going to be uploaded as a VOD to YouTube as well. And at some point, I didn't want to do it yet, but at some point I'm going to go ahead and change my... Oh, that's right, you got to go up to go down. I'm going to go ahead and change my VODs here on Twitch to be subscriber VODs. And then uh, a couple days later or whatever, uh, they'll be free on YouTube. So um, if you don't want to subscribe for any reason, then you'll be able to watch the VODs on YouTube. Uh, probably two days after the stream if you want to be able to watch the VODs right away. I'm going to set that up to where subscribers can do exactly that. Just seems like the right way to do things. Do you know that in the update for Hogwarts Legacy, they have finally silenced the flu powder lady? <laughs> Miss Ignatia Wildsmith no, no longer yells at you all the time. It's very pleasant. Uh, Weasley's watchful eye. So it looks like we do have a tiny bit more going on uh, from the story. So this will be a nice little follow up here. So we'll go ahead and go there. And the West Tower, Beast's classroom, it's probably just West Tower. That way we're inside at least. I tried to hide a puff scheme once in the corner of the common room. <laughs> Who tries to hide a puff scheme? Uh, let's see. Let's go back so we can go down the stairs there. Oof. It's frame rates. Yeah, as I say, there's a lot going on somewhere, isn't there? If you step in the wrong place and become engulfed in a stench, well, be it on your own head. It's hilarious. Uh, let's see. Where do we need to go? Uh, up. Oh, down. It's so rare that I go into Weasley's actual classroom that I forget where it's at. What lovely stone. Oh, that's class, that is. And you watch, there's going to be a, a flu location right next to her door, too. I mean, there's one right there that was closer. I don't know why they don't all show up very well on the map. Tad bit frustrating. I don't think I've ever been in her office either. Yeah, this is a first. Revelio. I thought that might be accessible. And steal some stuff from her before we do anything else. Some stylish school robes. A little bit of spectacles. Dear Professor Weasley. 
Thank you for your owl. I am overjoyed to hear that this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who may be both interested in and well-suited for a career at the ministry. Of course, their OWLs will provide confirmation of the latter, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us, and for that I am truly grateful. I look forward to further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully yours, Ferris Spavin, Minister of Magic, London. All right, Weasels, what do you got? Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the headless hunt. How did you- It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. <laughs> I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Mr. Sallow. I believe it's been a difficult year for him. He was lucky to have you. Thank you, Professor. I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. Hmm. It's not complete, but sure. Couldn't just set it down in front of her. <laughs> what do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Why am I not able to do what I want to do here? What the heck? There we go, that's what I wanted. Aliva Blusper. Great. Wonderful. That's the kind of garbage you want. I'm surprised that Automod didn't catch that. Distracted me from my game, man. Silly old bot. <laughs> nice. Right, so we got a locked quest up here, it looks like. The House Cup. Reach level 34. Where are we on level 34? Is that the max level or something? 29. What is... Oh, it doesn't tell you. I was going to say, what is the max level, but... Oh, well. Go sell some of this stuff. Kind of surprising the amount of things that I will never use that I get. Oh, let's see. Three talent points. The Barda causes explosive blast. That sounds excellent. Uh, Glacius does damaging shards. Probably never going to use that. Enemies near a target summoned by Akio. Oh, enemies nearby. Yeah, we'll get that too. Uh, room of requirement stuff. There wasn't much to really do there. For, the, for these type of things anyways. I mean, there's tons of stuff to actually do in the room of requirement, but there wasn't anything to do 
for this portion. Why not? We'll see what happens with that. Get four out of four on one of them. Why not? So now we just have to run around and run into people and receive quests from them. And do some leveling. So let's just go find somebody with a side quest. You'll do. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Wow. You turned out to be something of a hero, didn't you? You're welcome, Nelly. Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Cool. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. To the astronomy tower. I hope tower. you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. If anything. <laughs> I wonder if you might be able to help. Might some kind soul help me? Oh, I'll help you guys. Just give me a minute. Ah. I overdo it? I mean, it wanted me to go up, but I guess it wants me to go a different path. I feel like going up either way would have gotten me here, but oh well. We'll follow the path it wants us to go on. <laughs> I really wish you could just body slam people out of the way. <laughs> I'm here going up there. Go like all the way to the very top, I guess. As a daily key, I wonder where it might lead me. Where it might lead me. Oh, I gotta follow it. Oh god, I lost it. <laughs> Completely lost it. Oh, to there? There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Yes. <laughs> you slap it. That's how you get it in there. That's excellent. I wonder what a house token's for. All right, now we gotta run all the way back down to Nelly. I mean, there's a... There's a thing right beside her, but I don't know... It'll get us there. Transfiguration classroom, transfiguration courtyard, okay. I should put us right beside her, basically. It doesn't look like it on the map, but it will put us there. Ta-da! Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Yep. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I bet it unlocks our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. Well, I can't go into the other common rooms. I do rooms. hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Oops, that's not what I wanted.
flu powder may have had its annoying moments, but it's worth it. It's nice to have it. Sure makes things easier <laughs> to be able to pop from place to place. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. There it is. This must be my house chest. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open. This. Oh, quite a few by the look of it. Oh man. Better get like a lion suit or something out of the deal. Something huge. Something ridiculous. Seems like a requirement. Why do students always frown? They should burn the castle down. Jesus. Eves is a psychopath. Do 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 do. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I think I got one or two. I actually have some moons for you. Oh, wonderful, truly. Uh, if you bring me just a few more, I can teach you how to improve casting Alahamora. So close. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. Especially since they can only be collected at night. Crazy. Who's might have a question for me? Where can I go? From? Hmm. Actually, we'll go this way. I believe that there is... Yeah, so I think there's a quest right outside this door, and there is. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you Are you calling me, Gareth? I was hoping you might want to redeem yourself for not having brought me that fruit of feather and potions. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar oh, and cool. a few dried billywig stings for me. I gotta adjust my head pad. <laughs> my little pillow. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honey Dukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Cool. <sighs> Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale. And you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honey Dukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. This guy's a hooligan. <laughs> to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay, so now we get to go find the one-eyed witch, though. I need to get oh. those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Got a key to follow first. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. You just slap it once and it goes right in. Nice. All right, so we get to go find the one-eyed witch statue, which is what Harry uses to first go into Hogsmeade in the books and movies. The one-eyed witch. Ah, there's another key. Heard it. 
This looks like the right statue. Wait, does it? Now, what was the password? Oh, it is the right statue. Interesting. Descendium. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Wow, this is a much larger passageway than it was described in the books. <laughs> a lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair. Roll. Sweet. That seems to have done the trick. Yeah, this is a uh, not really a secret passageway, I don't think. Rebellio. Looks like a pretty well planned out path. I mean, this is like infrastructure here. Oh my god, seriously. How are my gear slots full? I barely have anything. So fed up with how few gear slots you get. That's that's the really that's my only complaint about this game is the lack of gear slots. You need to get a mod that just makes it to where you have no limit on gear slots. Hopefully someone's working on that. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Me neither. There we go. This is more like what I was expecting. Oh, incendium. Am I supposed to levitate up there? How am I supposed to get out of here? First, I'll grab some gloves. Incendium. It's just taking me right back up to the path. Interesting. I just missed it. So do I have a levitation spell? Oh, oh, no. Oh. Just barely gave me any height, but it was enough. Quite the drop. Rebellion. It's just the one chest. Well, no, there's more over there. That's the big chest. It's... I just, I picked up one thing. What, I, I deleted like five things and then I just picked up one thing. And apparently my gear slots are full again. Can't forget the unidentified, I can't throw away any unidentified things. I threw away gold stuff before I did that. Well, before I did that on purpose, who knows what I'd do accidentally. <laughs> Definitely have to get this though, so. Wow, for some sunglasses, some blue sunglasses at that. Wonderful. Yikes. Oh, jeez. Uh, Reparo. Reparo. Oh, I had to repair it and levitate it. Oh, that's fun. That's just lovely. 
Like it wasn't tough enough in the first place. At least I didn't fall to my death or anything. That's good. How many here we do? As I say, do we have any hidden stuff? And it looks like we might. Oh nope, just uh, death. Hidden death, a bunch of bats, and uh, this little guy. Get across. I love how the um, cobwebs they catch on fire and then they just keep being on fire. Something is getting in the <laughs> way of that platform. Oh. That did the trick. Repairer. Doesn't look very repaired though. Hmm. Seems bugged. <laughs> Might be about to sneeze. I don't know if I'll be able to mute first. This must be the way out. That was one of those sneezes that like pull a muscle in your back. I need to find a way to Real great. Gate. Uh, Revelio. Confringo. I wonder if I had to actually be standing there at the same time. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey dukes. I get to go be a thief. <laughs> oh well. Not the worst thing in the world in a game. <laughs> it's just a video game. Revelio. Man, frame honey rates dukes. are rough down here though. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I wonder what would happen if I just go. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. What if I just walk out into the area here? Wait, I have to go this way, don't I? Huh. Can I go back in there now? Oh, I can. Cool. Huh. Unlock that now. Nice. Just waltz my way right past everybody. I didn't do nothing. It's kind of sad we don't have candy shops like that anymore. I mean, I'm sure there are some, but, like, it's not as... Prevalent. It's not a thing. It's not the thing to go do. Oh, wait. Hit up a shop on my way out. Maybe all lavenders or whatever this first po first store is. It's not potions. It's um, tomes. Tomes and scrolls. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. So everything that's identified. Get them all out of here. <laughs> I need to go identify everything else. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. We'll have to go to room of requirement to do the identifications. Sounds like something just landed on my roof. Oh, add in progress. Dang it. Seafoam nightwear, gloves, ceramic mask, embroidered formal uniform. Alrighty. Let's see if any of that 
gear was actually an improvement. Not a real one. Nope. Uh, pops my defense, but drops my offense. So, no thank you. Same story there. More of an offensive player, anyways. Don't really feel the need to worry so much about doing the other. My, my defense is irrelevant. <laughs> so many more things I could do here. Return to Gareth. Let's see if we can just pop right down there to him. There's probably... Yes. Faculty Tower, is that the closest thing to him? I think so. Yeah. I worked in a new environment today, and there's a lot of dust there. I'm coughing and sneezing. Less than ideal. Alright, where is that little key at? I keep hearing it over here. Maybe it's up above. I can grab that real quick. Because I just hear it real quick there, and then it's gone. Huh. Strange. Hurt again, I thought. Close by, but I don't know where. Could be down lower, I guess, too. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Yeah, hooligan. Call yours for a fee. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. <laughs> Jeez. What a dork. Let's see if I have any interesting quests that I already have started. Then we'll go from there. Healing keys, yeah, yeah. So Shadow of the Bloodline, it like wasn't letting me do that earlier. Let's see if we can try to do that now. Where was he? Yeah. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? <laughs> Jesus. It's ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Never heard the term scriptorium before. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse. Also known as the Torture Curse. Inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. 
His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. That's One less than ideal. The sound of the victim's cries is horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. <laughs> How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Well, that's boring. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Well, I want it to happen now, man. The lost child. What's this? Oh, Natty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natty's the one I wanted to go and deal with. I have a thing right beside her. There we go. Pop up literally probably right beside her, but she'll be right outside of here. Nope. What did I just do? Did I just break that box? Oh, wait. Okay. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. <sighs> Why did he challenge that? Oh. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? <laughs> I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. <laughs> he never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Why am I smiling? We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded fake. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are. Hello, sir. Providing officers what do you sell here? Evidence Hello, to take down I'm Jalal. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, nothing of any interest. I will at least sell this stuff that I don't need. Some good cash. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. It's a tr bunch of dragon bones? Must be little Achi's hideout. What a hideout. Archie? Archie Bickle! 
Revelio. Not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking. Hebridean black scale. The Hebridean black is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters in length. A large rough scale originally belonging to one of these beasts is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. And dropped some treasure while he was at it. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Beautiful scenery out here. I see where that kid comes out this way. Rebellion. <laughs> I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. <laughs> That's why Archie I cast it. Mushrooms. Uh, he's going to be in that cave. Hallow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not What's in this all about? I can imagine. It looked like there was a cave here, but... The puddle? That's odd. He's got a nice little mushroom field going for himself out here. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Uh -oh. oh. Hallo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. I think I'm gonna run out of room there. They are beautiful, are they not? You can yeah, see festivals too. They're kind of ugly. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first festival shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Oh, what are you doing, lady? Revelio. Capture all the Thestrals. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite. No, I thought that was a dead one. It was a long time ago in some ways. Revelio. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Rebellion. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. Defender. 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 Defender.
Oh yeah, you want to display? There you go. <laughs> Get wrecked. Rebellion. Bombarda. Destroy their camp. Rebellion. Yeah, yeah, we'll find the kid. I just gotta get all the goodies first. <laughs> oh wow. I love I these tents. This tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Really wish tents were actually like that. I don't think he saw it happen, do you? I thought I swore he was already uh, done for. Or not, not already done for. I thought he was still up. Slow motion death. Rebellion. All about the loot. <laughs> I'll find the kid eventually. Sure, he can take care of himself. Seems like a little rascal. the one who had all the health. Did I already wreck them? Is kid in a box? Where'd he go? Oh, he's down there. <laughs> Yes, 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 I will help you. Just calm down. Help! Help! Someone, please! I need your help! Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Easy as could be. Revelio. I thought he was just gonna start talking. A man called Harlow. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. You wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back.
Revelio. Where are we? Are we back at their house already? Oh. Oops, sorry about your bucket. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Hello, Hamora. I wonder if there's any of the demi guys's. Can't pick them up until it's nighttime, but we can see it, and then we can just do a little wait. Nope. Walked right past the giant chest on the ground. It's like no dimmy guys in here. Ooh, that's a chest and a half. Watch this be the Walmart my inventory's full. Oh gosh, do I have to I have to go back out here and listen to them be reunited? Yep. Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He's already after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about this. Oh, it's just gold? Alright. Ha, <laughs> spittoon. What? Bucket uh, bag was outside. Huh. Funny the amount of doors they have in these little tiny houses. Who's this bro just chilling in her backyard? Oh. So is that the end of it? Or what's the story here? And why am I getting a chest icon? Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. New wand handle. Uh, inventory. These gloves marked off. A little hat. This one handle looks like it might be cool. Please be cool. Yeah, we're going to run that. That's actually a pretty cool wand handle. Sweet. That's beautiful. I like it. Nice. Finally, a wand handle that actually goes with my wand. Love it. Now I've got another box over this way, and then little gobble. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Oh my goodness! Another one handle, and two right back to back. That one is cool, but it is not as as just flawless as this one in my opinion I kind of wish this one style had this one's color it's very cool but it's just not quite well maybe certainly between the two that one's color is optimal that one just seems more appropriate so that's what I'm going to go with for now No, no, my chair's gonna roll away from me again. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. 
Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. Ranrock's dead. You. <laughs> Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. <laughs> that is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. <laughs> Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Well, let's make those circumstances After what better. Did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Just improve things for our new little goblin friend. Some sketchy flying. An encampment. This must be. Looks as if there's more. I will regret not joining him. He doesn't come around now. He'll be made even more of an example. I won't. Come on now. How many of you are there? Akio. Good for you. It's sending. Obliteration. You won't stop me. I can. Hmm. Is this impressive? Oh, he's knocked out too. Okay. Uh. Is the battle done? Like, where? Where's? Oh, somebody else over here. Oh gosh, this guy uh, does isn't real anymore. Oh, there he is. I can't get to him though. How great! That was quite something. Now to free Arn's carts. Dang, I can't climb over that? Come on, game. Oh wait, duh. Stupid. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to Arn. Huh. Nifty. Do I have to follow them or can I just go back? Like, what's the story here? <laughs> Looks so stupid on this thing. How do I get off of it? E. But you can always fly. This is true. <laughs> And welcome in, by the way.
Oh, that's right. That's how I change my creature. Why is that one going that way? That's weird. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. Uh, well, I mean, I kind of do, kind of don't. I can choose them. But the uh, that's the problem with... That's the only real problem with Twitch, in my opinion, is the ads... It's not, a, it's not clear enough as to when they're gonna run for the viewers. Uh, I can see it if I'm paying attention, but it's not clear enough for everybody else when they're coming up. Uh, they do have a, a habit of getting in the way. I've got it set up to where they run uh, every roughly 30 minutes. And what that does is it keeps it from doing pre-roll ads. So when someone tunes into the stream for the first time, they don't get an ad immediately. They get to actually just start watching the stream. Um, unless they're really unfortunate and they tune in right as the ad is playing already. <laughs> but uh, yeah, every one minute and 30 second ad uh, takes that away. However, if you link your Amazon account with your Twitch account, it gives you Twitch Prime. And you can subscribe to the channel for free, and you'll get zero ads. That's one of the primary perks of subscribing. You also get all the emotes. Why'd the thing stop? Come on, cart. We got places to go. I'm just going to go back to the guy. <laughs> There's no way that I have to wait on the carts, right? Like, I can just tell him that they're on the way. Yeah? <laughs> You'll believe me, right? On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. Yeah, yeah, prime subs are fantastic. Because it's free. Benefits the channel by giving me a little cut, and it also uh, gives you a huge easy. benefit of no ads all at all. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. <laughs> what a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Sweet. I was gonna say, does that does that level me up a little bit? Need that. All right. Anybody else out here with a quest? There we go. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. 
A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue <laughs> or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Woohoo. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental what? value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess <laughs> is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Sure, let's I do, do it. I hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. So how do I dive? There it is. Am I going to be underwater? Is this like an actual underwater adventure? Or did I just pick some stuff up? Oh. <laughs> I see. So each time that I dive under, I'm going to get something in this general area. Okay, that's cool. There's the astrolabe and a wigan weld. Ooh. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. There's a bunch of little bubble things out here. It would be really easy to just go back right now and not get all the extra things. Just imagine if you actually found a scarf in a sunken ship, how horrid that thing would be. You would never wear that. Fifty million gold. Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Anything else out here? Nope. That's it. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did, and I'm I keeping did. it. <laughs> I hope it makes your father <laughs> How happy. rude. That would be awful. To see his face. Thank Never you so do much that. for doing this for me and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. No, oh, nice. So I'll get dive spots all over the Thank lake now. Again. That's cool. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. That's very cool. Oh, a mermaid mask. Neat. And leveled up. Four more levels and we can do the uh, final ceremony thing. Expelliarmus. No, not, not quite that. Oh, well, speaking of more spots to dive. I'm going to run out of gear spots, though. Ooh, it's a nice purple cloak. Have I been in there? I have been in there.
Where else can we go? I want to just go find a bunch of dive spots now, now that I've unlocked that ability. Where's all this greenery coming from? Why was... What's this green reflection? That's odd. I think that's supposed to look like the head. I can't look straight up, apparently, so I can't tell if it's coming from the sky. Doesn't look like it is, though. Huh, weird. Anywho. Moving on. I wonder if there's any specific, like, dedicated dive spots where, like, at this dive spot, in this general location, there's going to be this type of item or something. That would be cool. And I wonder how many dive spots there are, if that's something that's actually tracked or not by the game. If it was, that would be awesome. Can we go see Professor Garlic again? Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that piece of stained glass. Nice. Boy, there is a quest of some sorts in there. How do I enter the greenhouse from here, though? I wonder if I can go in from the side door? Is that a thing? Who is now following? B. Keller, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Say one four three two. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be one two three four there for a second on your name. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why they don't have another door. There's gotta be. There should be an outside door to the greenhouses. It just seems logical. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> Howdy there, partner. <laughs> I wonder if this will take us right into the greenhouse. Oh. Accio to you as well. Hey. Oh, I haven't done this one. This is entirely new. Oh, sweet. Another one of these. So we've got nine totals. We got zero, one. So. Need it. Zero, one. And then. Nine, eight, seven, so we just need one, right? Just one on the two, which is the base. Hmm, must be unicorn then, I guess. Maybe I can't math. I'm not surprised. <laughs> 22 spider is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 22 minus eight is... 12 plus 2. <laughs> it's 14. And then minus 12, so another 2. 0, 1, 2. Sweet. Oh, this is a cool room. Oh. Finite. What? That's cool. Oh no. Oh god. I'm dead now. Great. <laughs> Rebellion. Gorgon portrait. An oil painting of a beautiful Gorgon and her suitor whose eyes are wisely averted as he bends to kiss her hand. It is said that the artist who painted this accidentally gazed at his subject when he delivered the painting and is now forever a sculpture in a garden in Greece. Does she look at you when you hit F? She doesn't. Benite. Oh well. Oh wow. 
three-seater sofas have now been unlocked for the room of requirement. Purple, dra purple dragon-eyed spectacles. It's this little guy. Ah, one of these. Lumos. Looking for a troll painting. Buy some stairs. There's an actual troll. Oh, there it is. Oh, it was just... Oh, maybe it wasn't a painting. Maybe it was just the frame of the little case that he was in. Either way. Oh, yeah, it was just... It was a frame of the case he's in. Huh. I wonder how many field guide pages there are in grand total. It's like, I gotta get 50 on this run. Am I gonna have to then get another 100? It's a lot. Okay, nowhere else to go in here. We'll just wander on through this. This is all brand new area. Not been in this part of the castle until just now. Don't you see the romance of it all? You and I... We are the stuff of poems. Our love is the muse of a thousand rhymes. Lumos. That's not gone well for you, little ghosty. Sorry about you, bud. Best of luck on the next one. Oh, oh, another key location. Revelio. Now we just need to find the key, the Dedalian key that goes with it. It's got to be close, right? Because you have to be able to follow it. There it is. <laughs> just slap the key. Slap the key and it goes on in. Is this potions? Oh, it is. Huh. <laughs> that potion is at maxima. Can we put a potion at... what would have happened to the school had it not been for you? We owe you our grant. Professor, do you have a moment to speak again? You do realize I have classes to teach. <laughs> Very well. How may I assist you? I like how he's kind of Snape-like, but he's better. He's like he's more like serious, really, which is kind of interesting. Why did you leave your position as an aura to come to Hogwarts? Or like Perhaps Lupin. You haven't heard the myriad rumors they think I don't hear. Was it due to a particular interest in potions? I am, in fact, an expert in potions. However, my interest was not the reason I came to Hogwarts. I would still be in aura today if my injury hadn't precluded it. The Ministry was all too ready to keep me on. <laughs> Buried under parchment, of course, helping run the aura recruitment program. But if I'm meant for a life confined to a desk, well, I might as well share my expertise while searching for a way to heal my blasted leg. And... The Hogwarts Library is not to be underestimated. You're seeking to heal the damage done to your leg. As I said, lest you think for a moment that fear played any role in my departure, allow me to enlighten you. It was not fear, but fate that steered my hand. I'll not let fear dictate my future either. Well said. However, it's worth noting that fear can be a great motivator and that one must conquer it. Indeed, sir. Thank you for your time. And I do hope you find a cure for your injury. Yes. Well, I'm certain you have an empty cauldron waiting for you somewhere. Yes, Professor. Of course. Um, Bopsy. Let's see if I can help you out with that. Uh, let's go... 
Uh, hopefully nobody's too terribly loud on here. Who's on that is... <laughs> Our Chicken Life. I love these channels. I pressed ominous regarding so you hit subscribe and... Oh, you're, are you on mobile, Bopsy, or are you on uh, desktop? You'd be on mobile, probably, I'm guessing. Forget. I forget how it is on mobile. I just pulled it up on desktop, and it's super easy on desktop. Uh, on mobile, you would do... If you're on the stream, you hit subscribe... And then there's a little icon that says, it's like when you hit subscribe and then you look down below the one month, three months, six months thing, there's a little uh, blue crown and it says use prime sub, tick that box and it'll give you the option. And I assume that's, that's functional on uh, iPhone and Android equally. So yeah, hit subscribe, and then you scroll down, and you'll see uh, the months, and then you'll see the option for use Prime Sub, and you just tick that, and then it should give you the option to subscribe, that's wise. If that is what you are so inclined to do. There is an ad coming up in six minutes. <laughs> that's strange. Might have to restart the app. Either that or Apple just eats everybody. <laughs> All right, good luck. <laughs> I've, t I've done what I can do. <laughs> oh no, that Fitzroy, my toad, he's left me. <laughs> it's only her toad, there he is. <laughs> Sir Fitzroy. Perhaps some explanation is in order. Nothing. Found it been my toad, it One at a time. It was please. only her toad, Professor. You tell tale. It was not. Never <sighs> Oh, Fitzroy, you naughty boy. See, I told you. <laughs> Fitzroy. In future, perhaps we can spend our time on more meaningful activities. What a name. Causing a commotion. I wouldn't want to see you lose house points. Although I will say, excellent toad got a good spring to him. <laughs> Excellent toad. <laughs> Make a bag out of it. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> oh man. Make a bag out of it. Jeez. Brutal. Oh my God. It is 858 already. When did that happen? Who am I waiting for here? Eh. We'll get back to that one in the future. But at 8.59, it is nearly time for me to go to sleep, so I am going to have to close things out here, unfortunately, as my little pillow falls down into my back. It's annoying. <laughs> but anywho, I really wish my stream deck was working so I could swap through scenes here easier. Hours with you, Toad. <laughs> that will be hilarious. I guess I can go ahead and do this. Get back to the, the music scene. See how many hours we've got in now. 27 hours of gameplay. Thirteenth. Cool. To the main menu, switch over to this one. Yeah, don't know if you can tell, but I know a couple of you watch the stream regularly uh, when I was doing so on YouTube before I switched back over to Twitch. Uh, changed the lighting again, and I think this is where it's going to stay. This is pretty much exactly where I want it, exactly what I want to be seeing. So, anywho, thank you, those of you that popped in. Had uh, quite a bit more people hanging out this uh, tonight here on Twitch than I did over on YouTube, so that is an excellent first start. Um, and, uh, yeah, 
Stoked to be back here, and I will see you guys uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Occasionally, I'm going to have to cancel. It just happens. I got stuff to do. Or I go home, come home really tired. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. But anyways, uh, I do appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for being in the chat. All of that stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. I will see you Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. Till then, have an excellent evening. Good night, Bopsy. And have, uh, have yourself a wonderful uh, Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Adios. <laughs>